Bismillah. Let's solve this problem. During a short interval, the slotted guides are designed to move according to this displacement equation and the displacement in y direction, where x and y are in millimeters and time is given in second. At the instant when time is 2 second, find the radius of curvature of the path of the constant pin. So suppose we have a pin, okay, P, which is moving in a curvilinear path, which is unknown to us. But for this case, the displacement is given by equation, okay. And this displacement is dependent upon time. So if you, we know the time, we can find the coordinate x and y of the pin, okay. So I will write displacement equation 2 plus 15 okay to know the displacement exactly at time 2 second okay we can put these values in this equation and we can find the x and y location or position of the pin now in this problem we have to find the radius of curvature of the curve of the curve when time is 2 second okay Let's see that as we know that we have a formula that angular x we have a formula acceleration in the normal direction is equal to well v square upon rho rho is radius of curvature so in this case we can see that we have to calculate the velocity and at acceleration in the normal direction in order to find the rho. So let's start with the velocity first. As we have the displacement equation in the x direction, if I will take d by dt of x, we can have the x prime or you can say vx formula. So what I will do, I'm going to write d by dt on the both side. At 16 minus 12 t plus 4 t square okay so the final I mean the answer after differentiation I will write exactly vx is equal to a t minus 12 okay now to find the vx you will put the time t is equal to 2 second and you will get your velocity in x direction okay so let's do it vx is equal to 8 multiplied by 2 minus 12 is how much 4 millimeter per second okay similarly you can do it for the y direction d by dt of y y prime or you can write velocity in the y direction is equal to d by dt of the equation okay the equation in x direction or y direction is 2 plus 15 t minus 3 t square okay so answer for the or you can say that v y equation will be 15 minus 60 now i will put the value t is 2 second in this equation so now solve it then vy will be 15 minus 6 multiplied by 2 is equal to 3 millimeter per second okay so now we have calculated vx and vy okay so we can find the total v how using this okay I can write vx square plus vy square is equal to v now guys we have to find the an okay in order to solve to find an till now we have with the velocity equations so if we will find acceleration then we can solve 
for the an also so in this case what we can write d by dt of vx then we can find the acceleration in the x direction and similarly d by dt of vy okay so we can find the acceleration in the y direction okay so let's do the calculation here for the x direction dy dt vx is equal to how much after differentiation you will find it is 8 millimeter per second square okay and dy dt of vy okay use the same equation and it will value will be 16 millimeter per second square okay now guys based on the ax and ay we can find the total acceleration a okay and the total acceleration a will be your 8 squared plus 6 squared will be 10 millimeter per second square okay this is our total acceleration but still we have a problem we cannot calculate a n till now okay so for this purpose we can find a t okay then we can calculate the a n or a t based on the angle okay so we are going to find some way to calculate a n if we are able to this calculate the angle we can find the a n so let's make a velocity vector diagram so we can it will help us in finding the theta so suppose this is our vx and this is vy these are the calculated values okay and this is v we have already calculated v we have already calculated vx we have already calculated vy so we can easily find this theta okay this theta is 10 inverse vy upon vx okay so you can put the value vy is 3 and vx is 4 okay apply 10 inverse okay the answer will be your 36.8 degree okay now we have this degree okay now let's draw the acceleration diagram okay for this purpose i'm going to can write that ax it will be same in the direction of the ax x and ay is negative so i'm going to make ay negative okay this is minus six millimeter per second square okay now guys we have already calculated a okay this is our 10 millimeter per second square but before i make a vector of it let me make a n and a t okay so this will make our task easier and clear for you so to a make a t a t v you know that acceleration in the tangential direction is always collinear with the velocity okay so the velocity acceleration is positive it is increasing so a t will be in this direction okay so I will write this is the AT line, okay? AT vector. And I have to calculate now the acceleration in the normal direction or make this vector. So I will make a 90 degree to this. This will be AN, okay? Now, if we see this diagram, we will find this theta is equal to this theta okay what about the total acceleration a so it will be somewhere here okay now guys from this diagram if we see this angle is from here to here is 90 degree 
minus theta okay now if we have to if we will get this value this angle beta then I can simply write a n is equal to a cos beta but how to find this beta angle okay so let me write this values first as you know that theta is 36.8 okay and if we are able to find this angle this angle okay suppose we say alpha okay then we can find beta okay also so alpha will be we can use tan inverse of this ay okay this length ay is 6 here and the length is 8 okay 6 by 8 so this angle will be your alpha will be so angle alpha is equal to 36.89 okay now we have information about the angle so we can easily find the value for angle beta that is 90 degree both are same so i will write 36.89 alpha minus 36.89 same theta so it will be equal to 16.6 degree okay so i can now find a n is equal to a is 10 cos 16.6 okay so our answer will be 9.65 square upon a n it is 9.6 so our answer is 2.6 millimeter this is our final answer